volt meters in series or per row when I'm calculating uh, voltage huh? or measuring voltage? Do I connect the voltmeter in series or parallel to a load? Parallel. Because we put that, let's say, line in neutral, the red and the black wire, to line in neutral and fine voltage. So here, what has been done in the question that you guys are working on, question number one, okay? You had two resistors of equal value, and source voltage was 120. Okay, if I put my voltmeter here, even what am I going to read? 60, 60 right? Yeah. Same thing if I put my Y at 60, just because both resistors are equal, they're going to suck up equal voltage, right? Now, I ended up breaking this circuit and putting my voltmeter in the center. <coughs> to measure voltage. What do you think my reading will be? Zero. Is it be zero? Triple. 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 Okay, anybody else? Guys, if you cut the circuit, it becomes open. Yeah. What's the voltage across the open? Zero. Full source voltage. Zero. Isn't it? The switch, when the switch is closed, the voltage across the switch is zero. When the switch is open, what's the voltage across the open? 120 volts, same thing. So these resistances would not suck up anything. If these were two light bulbs, they would both go off, and now it's open, so open is 120 volts. Make sense? Yes. Right? Question number two on wait, theory review. Wait, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Why your answer was 150? 150 volts in the answer key? Yeah. All right, That's let's what go. That's the confusion was. Let's go. Because they highlighted in the question, 0 to 150 volts also. Source voltage is 120. I oh believe it was fixed, but we might not have, you might not have the right or the updated one, but let's see guys. If you have my answer, your answer key saying 150, fix it to 120. I'm just going to see if it's a problem at my end as well. My answer is C. What is C? 120. So yours is maybe still an error, guys. It's my fault then. Fix it. Your answer should be same as source voltage of 120. But not three times the voltage. Okay? All right. Next question after that is question number two. I'm going to ask this question from... Are you going to help me do this? Question two, or did you do it at all? I did it, but I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do? Um, were you able to do it? Dan? No, I, I couldn't get your answer. I don't know why. Okay. Tell me what's given. Am I given? Read that question out loud for me. Who? You. Okay. How much power in kilowatts is required to drive a DC generator that supplies electrical energy to a motor? Which delivers an output of 50 horsepower. Each so, has the operating efficiency of 8 Perfect. This is the question, guys. Okay? How much power is given to a DC generator that's driving a motor and motor is 50 HP? Okay? Now, 50 HP is how many watts? Multiply it with 746. You're going to do some math for me. 37, 300. 37.3 kilowatts? Yeah. Okay. Now, output of the machine is 50 HP. Input of the machine will be more than 50 or less than 50? More. Always more. You always give more than what you get when the efficiency is only 85%. At 100% input and output will become equal, right? So for me to find my input, would or no, would not I, must I divide? 37.3 with 0.85. What's the number here? 50.7. 50 50.7. And if this is 50.7, then what would be this number? 50.7 divided by? 50.7. I don't know. I didn't get that. I got 43.8. 43.8. So 43.8 then divided by 0.8. What do I get? 0.85 again, we are not 0.8. Okay. 
Why do you need one? Because there are two devices, Dan. There is a generator that's running the motor. Okay? Input to the generator is what it has been asked to me to find. Okay? So what's 43.8 divided by 0.85? 51.6. 51.6 and the answer will be in kilowatts. It's a tricky question because 90% of people don't think that there are two machines given. They only divide it once. It will stop right here at 43.8. But you know what would ring the bell? In your question it says each machine is rated at 85%. Okay? It didn't say the machine is rated at 85%. When it's each means it's more than one. That should ring the bell that you should. RDQP. What does that mean? Read the, read the damn question properly. That should tell you that you have to read it properly because it says each machine. It doesn't say one machine. Okay? So on theory review, we just did question one and two. Okay? Could we keep going? We are going to do question number three. You want to copy? Go ahead and copy, guys. Five minutes, I'm going to give you guys questions on four, five, and six. 